Ooh. Action. Beautiful morning. Snuggled into the uh, Magma 15 from REI. I love being able to zip in and seal up all the drafts. But uh, in my opinion, I had the Magma 30. Really, the Magma 15 should be like the Magma 30, and the Magma 30 should be like the Magma 40. But whatever. I mean, I feel like this ought to be more like a 30 sleeping bag. But you know, even with the, the bottom quilt slipped off during the night, and I just laid right on the hammock, I wasn't that cold. You know, even laying right on the hammock without the bottom quilt. Um, I find that common with this blackbird. Now and then the bottom quilt slips off. I mean, I do like that superior hammock where the bottom quilt is sewn right into it. And uh, this blackbird, I think it might be the most comfortable hammock that I've seen yet that doesn't have... Uh, you know, where I don't use a sleeping pad, you lay right in the hammock, put a bottom quilt on, whatever. Um, a little ridgeline organizer I can slide my phone into here. Um, oh, and I got stick mode up, where all you do is uh, have a little shot cord made in Colorado. And uh, put a few loops, and, you know, depending on what size stick I have or uh, you know do I want the stick to pull on here more or on here more you know I got the stick and I did the same thing going on over there it kind of holds up the shelf you can see the stick um, so yeah um, this is a look at the uh, Warbonnet Blackbird XLC this is a little bit older version. I don't know if they've done... I've seen videos where they kind of tie the underquilt a couple places, but the bottom quilt... I mean, I have nights where it doesn't go anywhere, and I have nights like tonight where it just slipped off altogether. And I find that a lot with bigger hammocks. Um, I'm more of a small hammock kind of guy, getting used to bigger hammocks like this, but... Out of all the bigger hammocks, I kind of like this one. It isn't quite as banana, um, and the ridge line is right here. I'm not, like, reaching way up to get to the ridge. I don't know. Um, this is the Warbonnet Blackbird. It's a beautiful hammock, beautifully built. I think nowadays they have the net with, like, two zippers, and you can twist it whatever way you want. And they also have a... Um, an El Dorado, they call it. It's another model that does not have the little storage shelf here for your whatever you want to store. Um, I just happen to have this one. But, uh, anyways, what I'm using tonight, yeah, this Magma awesome sleeping bag. Um, the Magma 15 here is not cheap. I would really call it the Magma 30 or... 26.5 or whatever i don't know it, it's uh, the baffles are all nice and full and you know i feel like it's about what it should be for a eh, you know cooler weather summer sleeping bag fall into the beginning of the winter sleeping bag a do-it-all sleeping bag if there was one you know but i wouldn't i don't know about 15 degrees they give you this range i mean where's 15 it'd be way over there somewhere so really the comfort is like 29 or 28 degrees it says awesome big thick draft tube the hood fits really good and you know i don't know the sleeping bag's a little bit harder to deal with in the hammock but when it really is cold or you're going to the ground i mean i personally like the sleeping bag i like quilts too you know you can toss and turn with the quilt a little bit easier anyway i will continue to enjoy the morning over and out